After another round of testing for campaign staff who were in Tulsa, Oklahoma for President Donald Trump's rally over the weekend, two additional staffers have tested positive for the coronavirus, a Trump spokesman said on Monday. The campaign had announced on Saturday, hours before the rally, Trump's first since March, that four members of the advanced staff had tested positive. During the rally, Trump said he called for less testing in the U.S. after several states, including Texas, Arizona, and Florida, reported spikes in cases. They called me, they said, the job you're doing, here's the bad part. When you, test of, when you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people, you're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. Asked on Monday if he actually ordered testing to be slowed down, he didn't directly answer the question in an interview with Scripps at the White House. But did you possible. ask to slow it down? Uh, if it did slow down, frankly, I think we're way ahead of ourselves. The reason we have more cases because we do more testing. A dozen states in the South and Southwest reported record increases in new coronavirus cases and often record increases in hospitalizations as well, a metric not affected by more testing. Later in that interview, he was asked if he was concerned about his upcoming visit to Arizona with students for Trump on Tuesday. Trump said he isn't worried about it at all. The White House has had to do significant damage control after Trump's weekend rally in Tulsa. In addition to containing the fallout from his remarks on testing, his campaign had to explain why the arena was partially empty despite earlier boasting about a million RSVPs, and the White House defended Trump's use of a term for the coronavirus many consider racist. I can name Kung Flu. I can name...